this taxpaying resident continues to seek additional information regarding selected projects contained in the fiscal year 24 budget. I don't think you'll find anybody in North Attleboro who is opposed to playground equipment at an elementary school. It's the cost to the taxpayers. Uh, the cost to the taxpayers was approximately $450,000. How this project at a cost of nearly a half a million dollars ever got through five levels of approval, seemingly without any checks and balances. Pickleball court in a skating rink at Mason Field. Another half million dollar project. That project has not yet been completed as far as I know. The replacement of lights at Community Field. The cost of just these three projects that I've just mentioned exceed $1.5 million of taxpayer money. While the fiscal year 24 budget at least according to my review, my evaluation, only contains approximately $1.4 million to maintain all of North Attleboro's streets and roadways due to conditions in our streets and roads which, in my opinion, are sorely lacking and need some attention. Uh, I, I question the prioritization that's being used for determining how the taxpayer money should be spent. I think it's safe to say that no member of this council believes that we have prioritized uh, playground equipment over safe roads. Correct. The 500000 that we are spending is two playgrounds for two different schools, taxpayer money, and a um, grant from the state. The original estimate was $500,000 from a vendor off the state bid list, so there is no RFP. And we do pay prevailing wage for all of our projects in accordance with state law and mass general law. While we allocated $450,000, the actual cost came to $250,000, and that uh, information has been available. Mr. Kilke had raised a good point when he was talking about the playground. I think the public should be aware of this. He mentioned you know, up to five levels of approval for that project. That's, that's a good thing. There were five levels of, of oversight on that project. There have been discussions and there have been votes and there have been opportunities for the public. Uh, there were ample opportunities for folks to come in and talk about these things. And those discussions happened. A lot of us balk at the price tag on these things. We're like, this is unbelievable. Like, how can we spend $500,000 on a playground, right? And then it, it, it gets explained, right? So I just encourage members of the public, including Mr. Kilkia, to you know, engage, continue to engage in, in these meetings, right? Follow along. Because uh, there are opportunities and checkpoints for all of us and for other members of the public to uh, express their opinions on these projects while they're in the approval process, right? Not, not retrospectively, but while we're actually going through this discussion period. 